Uh, this. There it is. Uh, can I please? Thank you. Uh, I hope that. Oh wait. Uh, let me check if. Uh, yeah, it's. Oh my god, the colors are way too vibrant. Uh, settings. Can I? Uh, I would like to. Don't tell me. I can't lower the resolution. No. No. No, 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 no. The colors are way too vibrant and I can't play it on anything other than full screen. Okay, well, if the stream lags, uh, it's because the game is in full screen and my computer says no. But it does look interesting and it's really short, so... Should be fine for just a little bit. If I can play Duel Links on full screen, I think this game should be fine. But god, the colors are really vibrant. They're hurting my eyes. Recommend finishing this game in one sitting. A playthrough will last around 30 minutes. Okay. Soy sauce. Sesame oil. Mushroom. Lions. Carrots. Noodles. Even the ingredients list is indistinguishable. The pages are uh, weathered and torn. Proof of generations of recipes passed down. Mom used to prop the rest. Uh, okay, Mom used to prop the recipe book on the kitchen counter as we, as she made, as she made me scallion pancakes before class. Hot pot for special occasions. Long noodles for my birthday. My first birthday without her. I begged for the recipe growing up, but she always reassured me that it was Mom's secret. We used to make dumplings together every Sunday afternoon, dipping our fingertips into water to connect the peel. The first smell of chives as the gyoza hit the hot oil. I can't remember the last time we cooked together. She eventually only put thought into her cooking for work into her cooking for work potlucks, whatever that is. Cooking for people who've never heard of chili black bean sauce. Dad never understood her love for Utah you you Tiao. Yotiao. How we'd meticulously dip dip the dough into kanji. I knew her less and less, hearing about her day through him through eavesdropping on phone calls. Of course, you're not there when I need you the most. I can't believe I fell asleep. I bet I missed my stop. Where is everyone? Uh, oh wait. Oh, I can move. Alright, let's see. Can I go backwards? Okay, no, I guess not. Can I run? No. Oh my god, the game is framey as fuck.
Grandma? Honey, last time I saw you, you were just a couple of feet tall. I thought it'd be years before we meet again. What's going on? I thought you were dead. Oh, May, I'm so sorry. Your mom left you too soon. You know about that? What is this place? I found her here, May. Even though it's been so long since your great-grandma died, I still remember it clearly. I saw her everywhere. I kept reliving all of these memories I had once forgotten. I understand how you must feel. Wait, mom's here? Where can I find her? There's so much I need to tell her. You'll see her when you're ready. Ask her about the train, ask about your mom. Ask about the train. Where am I? I know this must be jarring, but you're right where you need to be. This train has a way of bringing those in need of guidance to it. Am I dead? Am I dreaming? You're okay, dear. I have one more thing before I should let you go. Do you remember the first time you swam? When I was six? I used to take you to the swimming pool every Friday after elementary school. You complained every time that your mom was in there. But she was cooking dinner for us. When you made it in... Uh, when you made it to the deep end for the first time, your mom made made you mapo tofu, your favorite at the time. She loves you. You haven't been there for the past few years. She wasn't there then, and she's not here now. She has been there all of your life, even if you don't see it now. You know it's my birthday, right? Where is she for that? I know you must feel hurt, but she sacrificed so much to make sure you were cared for. Moving to America, giving up her dreams. If you want to take one thing from her, it's to love when no one's watching. But how am I supposed to know if... But how am I supposed to know she loves me if I don't see it? It's everywhere around you. Her waking up early to take you to school. Working extra shifts to pay it for your art classes. She never passed down any of her recipes though. She didn't want you to worry about cooking so you could focus on school. Take this list and go to the fridge. I promised your mom I'd give this to you. It's been a while, May. I'm happy to see you again. Your grandmother hasn't been doing well since your mother joined us. It wasn't her time yet. Oh, hi, Ali. How you doing? Man, I thought you were done for. <sighs> Apparently, everyone thought I was dead. Which I wish I was, but... Eh. It wasn't her time yet. Can you tell me what's going on? I'm sorry, but not yet. I never thought I'd get to talk to you again. You know, they say you'll have all the time to sleep when you're dead. But your grandma still wakes me up in the morning to share the latest family gossip. Sounds like her. So you live here? And grandma lives here too? I guess you could say that. How are you holding up? I can't stop thinking about mom. I can barely get up in the morning. Remembering her is a part of accepting that she's gone. You remember her when you hear her favorite song on the radio. Or when you set the table for dinner. But it'll also hit you when you see something beautiful and wish you could tell her. Truth is, you will never stop grieving her. But you will learn to celebrate her life by cherishing these memories. I still can't bring myself to delete her voicemails. I tried to remake her food, but the online recipes I've found are never as good as hers. Soon you'll learn how to carry... Uh, soon you'll learn how to carry her with you properly. But for now... I want to know more about you. Haven't seen you since you finished middle school. How have you been? Talk about dad, talk about art class, talk about dad. Let's just say dad only knows how to make microwavable meals. Oh dear. 
I have to keep that one to myself. Your mom would come back to life just to divorce your dad if she heard that. He asked me about school, but it feels like we're trying to fill up the space mom once took up. He's scared he'll never be what your mom was. We're all afraid we won't be enough. That our loved ones won't accept us. That we won't be appreciated. That doesn't change when you become an adult. How is school? It's been awkward. Everyone in class already walks on eggshells around me. I got sent home from class last week for crying. Everyone asked me if I was okay and I was like, no, I'm just a kid and now my mom is dead. Then they started crying. So then I started comforting them, even though I'm the one with the dead mom. They were like, I can't imagine what I'd do if my mom died, but I don't have to imagine. I'm going to be reminded for the rest of my life that my mom said. Every holiday when I get married, when people ask me what my parents do, Thanksgiving is coming up. I don't want to see everyone spending time with their parents. Even though mom, mom and I don't even do anything for Thanksgiving. It's the fact that I'll, that I'll know what can never be. And now I'm bitter about people who did nothing wrong to me besides be happy. Your feelings may not be necessarily right, but they're human. Your mom's passing is going to be painful and awkward and selfish, but that's okay. I promise you, you're all holding up as any person would. And one day your classmates are going to understand where you're coming from. In like 50 years, maybe more. Take care of yourself, May. We're all thinking of you. Oh, what's this? What was the fridge? Noodles, mushrooms, scallions, and sesame oil. So, this is the sesame oil, I'm guessing. Uh, are these the noodles? Mushrooms. Okay, that's everything. Oh, hello there. Hi, have I met you before? You look familiar. May, is that you? Who are you? I haven't seen you since you were a baby. I'm your great grandmother. I think mom showed me a picture of you once. Hopefully it was a flattering picture. How are you? I, I don't know. Wait, why is my... Why does my grandmother look like, you know, a grandmother, but my great-grandmother looks like, like she could be my sister, <laughs> like. Like my grandmother looks old, but my great-grandmother looks like she's like slightly, like just slightly older than me. Have you had the funeral yet? It was last week. I took my sister to the mall. F oh, she she actually has a sister. Oh my god. I took my sister to the mall to shop for a black dress. And it was weird. Like, what am I supposed to say when the sales associate... When the sales associate asks me. Looking for anything in particular today? And it's not just that. Who's going to make... Who's going to take me to 99 Ranch? Who's going to watch scary movies with me? Part of me doesn't want to be happy because that will mean I've accepted her death. But that's what your mom would want you to do. Be happy. I recommend... I reconnected with your mother here recently. All she talked about was you. Do you want to hear what she said? Yes? No, it hurts much? Yes. She said that she could not be more proud of you. 
She told me about how your robotics club made it to the finals. Uh, how boldly you paint your love for 80s music. She remembers all of these things about your life. That's how you know she loves you. I didn't know she felt that way. You'd think that if everyone goes through loss, that we'd learn a better way to cope. We have the stages of grief to guide us, but grief doesn't know it's supposed to be linear. I feel like I'm going through the four stages all at once. You can take all the time you need. I wish we had more time so I could get to know you better. But I should let you go. Who are you? Hi. You must be my great grandpa. You must be May. I need to ask. How is being a how how's being a teenager in your teenager in your time? Kind of terrible. Sounds like things haven't changed then. <laughs> I'm sorry about your mother, but let's get your mind off it, okay? We can talk about something else. Anything you want to know about me? What is it like being dead? How did you meet my great grandma? What is it like being dead? As far as I can tell, you're all of the same. You're all of the same things you were when you were alive. I still tease your great grandma about her ugly sweaters. I still share my war stories for whoever will listen. Is it lonely here? Do you miss the real world? I don't mind it here. I get to spend as much time as I want with the people I love. Although I do miss my pigeon friends at the park. My turn to ask about you. What makes you happy? Going on walks in the neighborhood with mom. Falling asleep to the sound of rain. Listening to throwback songs in the car. That's good. The small things are always worth holding on to. She's got a new vessel. A new vessel? I have to be honest with you. I had a complicated relationship with your great great grandparents. You'll meet them in the next train car. They're interesting people. It wasn't until they passed that I understood them. After my dad died, I had to pick up his stuff from my childhood, from my childhood house. And it was only then that I realized how similar we were. Navigating the familiar roads in my neighborhood, working to provide for my family, wondering what my purpose was. You're lucky you had this bond when your mom was living. Losing her isn't lucky, she was barely there when she was alive. You'll learn more about your mom as you grow older. You'll understand what I mean. The train is quite dirty. Before you go, why don't you wash your hands before you travel further? Oh, who are you? Click and hold to wash your hands. Uh, click. Oh. What if I overdo it? I mean, the cleaner the better, am I right? Oh, okay, so it has to be there, alright. That doesn't make all that much sense, but sure. I mean, normally you wouldn't... I don't know, man. I'm... <laughs> I don't know who you are. Hey kid, I heard you need a ticket to ride the train. I, uh, what? I was just messing with you. Just something us great uncles do. I'm so confused how this train works. Am I going deeper and deeper in time? Each cart houses a generation. And you, my dear, have reached the best part of train. Best part of the train. I wouldn't take your great-grandparents too seriously, though. Especially your great-grandfather. 
He's been telling me the same story from the war for, for decades now. What is my purpose here? What are these ingredients for? Shouldn't it be obvious from how everyone's talking to you? About mom? She left some... She left something for all of us to give you. Why me though? Why not dad? Because you're her daughter. From the day you were born, you became her world. Also, because having kids means finally someone will laugh at your jokes. That doesn't last long, though. I didn't feel like I was her world. Were you a parent? Were you a parent? I am. You never stop being a parent. Even when you're dead. When my wife was pregnant, I was terrified. I felt like I should have prepared more. Had more patience, earned more money, knew more. But then my son was in my arms and I knew everything was going to be okay. That's what being a parent is. Being okay as long as your kid is. Is that how mom felt? I'm sure of it. You read every book and consult every doctor and you still won't feel at ease until your child is safe. I wish my mom could see me now and tell me everything's going to be okay. There's still so much left for me to do. She can't guide me through any of she could can't guide me through any of it though. What's left? Tell me. What do you have to do? I haven't even finished high school. I have to fall in love, get my heart broken, go through an emo phase, find myself work at the bookstore down the street like I always dreamed of. She is like way too aware. <laughs> I feel like when you're young, you don't know, like, what phases you're about to go through. Like, when you get older. Or at, least I f or at least I feel like I didn't know when I was younger. I have to paint something greater than I've ever done before. One day, you will do all of those things. And we'll be here cheering you on. Under six feet underground. Uh, people told me I wouldn't be famous, but look, I'm in a video game. <laughs> huh? Don't worry about it. Your mother told me to give you these noodles. Never mind, he's the aware one. He literally broke the fourth wall. You can boil them on the stove before you go. Uh, select the right temperature, 80 degrees Celsius. It's like here. Okay. Uh, done. That's the... Oh, there we go. It's like 110. A uh, hundred. Do you usually have to change the temperature? For noodles because I don't think that's true but okay oh you're my great great grandma and you still look like you can be like my mom hi May I'm I don't know how you read that it's an honor to meet you your grandmother told me that you're an artist I'd like to hear about uh, what art you do. I paint watercolor portraits. What have you done recently? I did a painting of mom and me. She's the sun and I'm the moon. She's the sun and I'm the moon. You can't have one without the other. I made it for Mother's Day, but mom never got to see it. You must really care for your mom then. I just wanted her to notice me. I'm starting to think she always did. 
I don't know if anyone's told you, but I used to paint as well. I did traditional brush paintings of mountains and trees. Painting's the only time I feel like my old self. No one tells me how I'm supposed to feel. Have you ever written poetry on your paintings? That's what I used to do in my time. I'd sometimes write my own or use... Uh, someone's work. I'd only ever write in my journal. I'm not poetic or anything. How about you try now? Write a poem about painting. Write a poem about moving on. About moving on. That's usually how painting, uh, how poems usually, usually go. Here goes nothing. Grief is a book where the words are out of order, have forgotten their mean, have forgotten their meaning. The pages can no longer make us forget. Grief is a book that burns. Every time someone tells me to move on, or tells me they're sorry, or pretends they understand, or pretends they understand, a book within its spine torn out, that throws itself into the fire, without anyone caring. Grief is a book that- fuck, I skipped it. Um... Grief is a book that cannot take you to another world. Grief is love lasting through death. Grief is love that has lost its path. Grief is love lasting through death. Where the daughter cannot listen to certain songs anymore must face that her mother is gone. Uh, must face that her mother is gone. Where the ending is already written. Are you sure this is your first time doing poetry? One more thing. Your mother wants you to chop and fry these vegetables. Don't forget before moving before you move on. Pick up the knife, chop the veggies, and put the knife back where you found it. Okay. <gasps> Puppy! Uh, I am in the way of his sex. Rough, rough. Cute. Cute. Who are you? I don't care about you. I just want the puppy. Everyone's been talking about you. I'm... Whatever that says. I'm May. Nice to meet you. I heard about your mom. Dog, yes, dog. I heard about your mom. It's going to be hard, but you need to take care of your sister. Your dad is busy with his job. She lost her mom too. She needs her older sister to be there for her. I, I know, but I'm barely holding on myself. Look, loss doesn't come easy. My mom died when I was five. But your grandma made sure you could have a better life in America. And you shouldn't throw that away because your mom is gone. You need to take responsibility for your sister. I'm trying. It doesn't have to be much. Just make sure she's had dinner and finished her homework. Do you understand? Isn't that a bit harsh? I'm a kid too. I don't even know how to take care of myself. I haven't uh, been able to sleep with the lights off the past month or paint. Every time I try, I see her everywhere, reminding me to wash my brushes. Telling me that what colors to use. All you need to do is try. You need to understand the value of work. Your dad has to 
pay for your art classes by himself now. Have you considered that? But mom put me in painting classes and it's one of the only things that makes me happy. Listen, I just want what's best for you. Think about it, okay? And I guess I have to do this. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, well, corners first. Oh, it's actually really easy. And now it's just, yeah, okay. This actually wasn't hard at all. Um, can you, can you, uh, yeah, okay. It's just a bit off center, but okay. Yeah, that was actually really easy. Um, all right. What's next? Who the fuck are you lot? You sure know how to keep a lady waiting. Is this the last train? You could keep exploring, but no one else will know a thing about making noodles. You know how to make the long noodles? You mean uh, longevity noodles? I'm the one who created the original recipe. But I'm missing one of the ingredients. All I know is that your mother told me to give you this. Woodier mushroom. She remembered. I feel terrible. Of course she did. She's your mom. The long noodles represent a long life. That's why you eat it on your birthday. This is your mother's final gift to you. A reminder of your Chinese heritage. You can get through this, May. Your mother told me you're a strong woman. People keep telling me that after she died. People keep keep telling me after she died, but I didn't do anything. I just begged the universe. I just begged the universe. My friends, whatever god there might be, that uh, she would come back. I wish I knew, uh, I wish I knew right where dad's favorite udon noodles were, udon noodles are. I wish I knew how to celebrate my identity like she did, like how she did, knowing the right amount of sesame oil to add to the wontons. Navigating 99 ranch like my own, preserving my culture for the next generation. Not live in an empty house of people who forgot mom as she was, spirited and wise, who taught me how to hold a paintbrush. But you did do something. You're carrying on her heritage and, taking, and taking care of yourself. That's what she would have wanted. What do you want to do now? I want to stay here longer, I want to go home. Uh, I want to stay here longer. I want to know... I want to learn more about paintings and hear grandmas share stories about mom. I wish I could give you more time, but you need to get home soon. After you've mixed the noodles, you've done all that you need to do. There's a bowl at the end of the train. Right here? This? Okay. Remember carefully. Um. Oh. Oh, I. I guess I didn't need to remember, right? Because <laughs> it stops me from, from getting it wrong. So. Can't go back. So, is that mom? Mom? Is that you? Happy birthday, May. I can't believe you're here. So much has happened ever since you left. I need you back. You know I can't leave. But why did it have to be so soon? Why couldn't you stay for my graduation or be there for my robotics final? 
I wish I could have stood by you through all of those moments. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I never appreciated how you took extra shifts to put me through art class. I'm sorry I don't help dad enough. I'll do anything for you back, please. You don't have to be sorry for anything. Do you remember the first time I made you noodles? You were in the third grade, so small and curious. The store ran out of bean sprouts and you suggested wood ear mushrooms. From then on, that ingredient became our tradition. Our cultural heritage is shaped by these small moments. You've always been a part of that. I'm everything I am today because of you. I never thanked you for making kanji for me when I was sick or for believing in my paintings. Don't worry. Just knowing that I'll always be in your heart brings me peace. Thank you, Mom, for everything. I wish we could have dinner together one last time. I'm sorry for leaving so soon. You did more than enough for me. You were the greatest mom I could have asked for. May, I want you to keep painting. Ask Dad to take you to that New Order concert. Live like you did before my passing, spirited and open. I don't know if I can do that without you. I'll always be with you. It looks like this is your stop. I love you. Always. I love you too. Goodbye, Mom. I did not think voice acting was in this game. Six years ago. Scoop a small spoonful of mixing to the center, then use your spool to connect the wrapper like this. But how do we add the soup? Some of the filling will become the soup. All we have to do is wrap the rest of these and, uh, and steam them. Want to try? Okay. Oh, dumplings. Oh. Uh, can you, can you please? It's not. What? Come on. Come on. Finally. Come on! Why is it not working? There we go. I guess it has to be- oh, it's more like in the middle. There we go. Man, this is sad? Yeah. That's perfect! I knew my girl was a fast learner. After dinner, can we go to the pool? Ask Grandma, she can take you. But I want you to go with me. I have to clean up after dinner. Please, pretty please. Okay, how about this? If you clean up with me, we can all go together. Yes, Grandma, Mommy... Wait, yes, Grandma! Mommy said she can go to the pool with us today. Don't go so fast. We have to finish these dumplings first. Where did you learn to make such yummy food? Your grandmother taught me. Who taught grandma? Her mom taught her. One day, you'll teach your kids. May, I want to talk to you about school tomorrow. You're starting the sixth grade. Ah, don't remind me. Middle school is going to be even more challenging. But I know you can get through it. I was looking through my stuff today when I found a card you wrote, uh, you wrote me when you were in second grade. Your teacher had you all write letters for Mother's Day. You said you were lucky to have me as a mom. But really, I'm lucky to have you. I get to have a little girl who's the brightest person in every room. Us moms. We're always thinking about how we can raise our kids better. If our kids will be good people or smart. 
Am I smart? Am I a good person? Uh, am I smart? <clears throat> of course, remember though, smart kids can only be successful if they work hard. But I want to play forever. I don't make the rules, silly child. May, don't forget how brightly you shine. You see the world with all this care. Don't let that go. You really think so? Of course. I want you to know how much I love you, is all. Ingredients. Noodles. Done. Soy sauce. Veggies and toppings. I went to 99 Ranch the other day, my first time there without you. Did you feel emotional the first time you came to America? You must have been so excited to find an Asian supermarket and not just one exotic shelf in the grocery store. I walked past the aisles, the lychee jellies used to buy me as a kid, the grandmas gossiping at the produce section. All those times I used to sneak Hello Panda in our shopping cart. I didn't know what brand of Udon to buy. I tried to call you, but you couldn't answer. Then a lady came up to me. She grabbed Udon off the shelf and told her daughter, this one is my favorite. And just like that, I knew you were watching over me. I don't know how things are going to change, but I'll keep painting. I'll help dad take care of Amy. I'll take everything you've given me and continue to love our family. I'm hopeful for the future. And all it took was a taste of the past. She said the thing. Oh, that's it. She said the thing.